Well, folks, uh, we're finally back here in the Derby car because we're transporting some items out to the Speedway because we're going to be doing the BMW Drag Racing Sleeper build here today. Uh, so, yeah, there's one object uh, that's new to the update that I have not interacted with, and that is the exhaust race. I'm assuming it's just going to make it sound different. Now, one thing real quick. This thing still has dents in it. Can I buy this repair kit and repair the uh, the derby car? Is that a thing? Uh, no, it's it's only, uh, okay, it's fully restored. I, know, I guess it just already had dents in it. All right, well, I guess we got a, uh, a repair kit for no reason. But yeah, uh, I've got a uh, time I wanna beat uh, at the drag strip, so I've been transporting parts. Uh, we got the car out to the speedway. We're gonna do the build out there uh, instead of at the house. But yeah, it's really, really odd being in this vehicle again. You know, we really need to do another one of those derbies. That was actually kind of fun. So yeah, I've been going uh, through the forms and stuff, kind of getting an idea as to what is the best ECU tuning. Now, if you guys have any ECU tunes you use, uh, comment down below. Let me know what they are. I've got a couple I'm going to try here today, and my objective is to beat my time uh, at the drag strip. All right, so here we are with the world's ugliest truck. It's absolutely beautiful. By the way, it actually drives pretty good when you load it up with stuff. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it balances the weight out a little bit. So yeah, here is uh, the sleeper BMW. There is the time we've got to beat. I mean, come on, 9-9? Nine, nine? That's not fast at all. So yeah, we got some things we got to work on. Hold on, let's go ahead and pop this open here. So yeah, uh, the rules of the game are to leave it completely stock on the outside. You want this thing to pull beside you at some sort of like intersection and you want to not know that this thing is a powerful beast. Actually, now that you think about it, if it's got race exhaust in it, it's going to sound really powerful. I'm curious as to actually how it sounds here in the game and does it actually give us some performance? All right, so I'm just going to start to unscrew all the engine components. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, that might have been. Actually, I think I got to unscrew the uh, transmission anyways. We're uh, swapping the whole engine. Uh, we'll get down low here in a second. It is really bright in here right now. Uh, hold on, let's turn this light off. Uh, there we go. It's a little easier to look at for you guys. So, what do you guys think my time's gonna be? Uh, comment down below uh, before we run the race and see if you got it right. Okay, so let's unscrew the transmission. Uh, we're gonna leave the suspension alone. I might have to tune on it a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be uh, fairly fast. All right, let's go ahead and unscrew the exhaust here, and that should be it. All right, we're just going to set the original engine here. Okay, we have a mess of parts now. Uh, everything's falling out. All right, take all the original intake out. Uh, there's the manual, which, by the way, I don't think that's actually uh, the way this thing comes. I think it's an automatic, even though I'm pretty sure you would be able to buy a manual version of this. All right, so let's go ahead and grab... Uh, just the front components here, so we have our engine. Let's go ahead and slide it down in the car. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and button it up uh, with the transmission. Actually, let's get that race uh, exhaust out. I want to have that under the car, too. I'm curious if this is going to sound different. I mean, you would think it would. Uh, let's go ahead and toss that. Can I toss it under there? Hold on, set it to the side, and I'll grab it uh, when I'm on the creeper. Okay, uh, let's screw this into the engine mounts here, and then we can work our way back from here. Uh, this is gonna look pretty cool, actually. I like the fact that we're gonna be able to pop open the hood and be like, yeah, look at what we got down here. Also, while I'm down here, there's a couple rusty bolts still hidden under this car. We can go ahead and change those out. I bought some new ones over at the gas station. Okay, here comes the exhaust. Let's go ahead and put the new race one in. Uh, come on. There it goes. Uh, that looks pretty sweet, actually. All right, let's go get our, uh, wrench. Or impact gun, I should say. So I'm going to keep the, uh, I guess we're going to keep the old exhaust on uh, because it's still got to look like a, uh, a stock vehicle from the outside, even though it's not going to sound like one. Okay, I think under the vehicle is now done, changed out some bolts. I reset a lot of the camber settings, so everything should be like neutral and the same. <laughs> I actually realized my right rear was a little off. It was cambered in. Uh, but yeah, that should be good to go there. All right, let's go ahead and continue to grab our sleeper parts. All right, here comes the turbo in. We've got that in there. Let's go ahead and grab the intercooler. Uh, we should be able to slide that into the front there. All right, let's button these up. Okay, that's in there on the side. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so we've got that in. I don't think the intercooler actually has any screws in it. All right, so uh, is there anything else we could put this in? Oh, there's another screw on it. Uh, hold on, gotta find it. Uh, wait, I don't even know what we're screwing in. Uh, 
we're screwing in something down there. Isn't it always awkward when you're going over like the uh, the engine or something and you find like a bolt that was missing that you didn't even know was a thing? Uh, also, the wastegate sound. Uh, which sound is the best? I had it set to 10. Ooh, I like that four. Four sounds good. Uh, four is my favorite so far. On Why did I have it set to 10 is the question. Oh, yeah, 10's the really aggressive sound. You know what? We've got to keep it on 10 there. I like that. Okay, let's put the right intake on. There we go. Uh, I can already feel the speed. i got to take the uh, the bolts off the springs real quick, or, or the shocks. Uh, that way I can get the strut bar. I'm not going to do the strut bar in the back. Uh, we're just going to do the front strut bar, and I totally missed with that. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's get these out. Okay, let's put this bad boy in. So yeah, this is all gonna depend on a lot of tuning because now that it is stock, uh, the vehicle is going to be heavy. Uh, you no longer get the benefit of the carbon fiber parts that we had. Uh, so we're definitely gonna have to work on the uh, ECU tuning to get the max speed out of this thing, but I think we could beat that time. Okay, I believe it is fully upgraded. Go ahead and close that there. All right, so we do have upgraded tires on this, um, but I think that's gonna be about it. So let's go ahead and take this off uh, the lift here. Uh, get a feel for how that uh, engine sounds. Of course, uh, we have the same exhaust, so I don't know if it's gonna sound any different, but uh, or at least the same muffler. I'm hoping it sounds good. Hold on, let's go. Oh, yeah, you know what? I almost forgot one of the most important things here. Uh, nitrous. Uh, I'm going to allow myself to put that into the back. Hold on, where is... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, on the ECU. I need to put that in, too. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that and put it over here. By the way, got a uh, fresh tank here, so that should be good to go. Place that in there. Yep, that is uh, all the way full. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get the ECU taken care of. Uh, we cannot shed weight in the vehicle either, so no, no deleting seats. All right, so let's get this old one out. All right, so here we are with the tuning. So I think I'm going to leave my traction control up to right around the 6 area. Uh, ABS, not really worried about that. So the turbo wastegate is up to 20 PSI. And then the power, this is something I don't think we've played with much. So I think ultimately I was told to take a little off the top end because obviously we're not running that far and we want this thing to grip and go a little faster. So we're moving the uh, the power curve a little, uh, I guess, sooner. So we'll see what this does and see if this gives us the power. Uh, but like I said, comment down below, what do you guys use for settings? All right, so we're ready to back out of this thing. Oh, let's crank it up. What does it sound like? Uh, any different? Uh, oh, okay. It definitely sounds sporty. Um, I still feel like that uh, that muffler is definitely choking it off a little bit because it doesn't quite sound like ridiculous. Like it sounds like it's a race car, but it's definitely toned down a bit. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let me turn that on. Let's arm our nitrous. Uh, one thing I can do, uh, we can come back in here and do some, uh, I guess, some tire pressure adjustments. Uh, I think you want to run lower pressures while drag racing. Uh, so we can maybe uh, put those down a bit, see if it'll give us a little extra grip. Okay, just testing it out. It feels really stable. It doesn't feel awfully fast. Uh, I'm hoping maybe this is uh, actually going to be fast once we get here to the uh, strip. So let's go ahead and pull up here. All right, hold it in. Uh, at what point am I gonna, okay, there we go, wait for it, and go, spray it, oh my goodness, okay, oh, I still got a lot of wheel spin, might need to add a little bit more traction control, uh, looking forward, come on, okay, 10, oh wow, that is definitely slower, okay, so, I think I need to adjust the power, we need to get it a little sooner, uh, definitely had a little more wheel spin there, so I'm going to adjust the ECU again. We've got to beat that time in the sleeper. <laughs> hey, guys, you want to know why it didn't seem so fast? Okay, I'm going to let you guys... Actually, there's probably people that have already guessed. Hold on. Hold on. Look what fell out. So, I thought maybe this didn't need to be bolted in. It does. You know, I really was thinking, man, this thing feels slower. Um, that is exactly why. All right, so let's actually bolt that in. I thought for a second it didn't need them. I couldn't find the bolt holes, but yes, it definitely needs to be bolted in. Okay, so that's in. I'm going to go ahead and drop the pressures here. I think we're right around 30. Uh, let's go to about 20 here. Okay, I'm not going to adjust the ECU for this pass because obviously we were screwed up and didn't have the uh, the turbo uh, radiator on. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. Okay, yes, it definitely feels a lot more aggressive. 
Oh yeah, I think we got this. I for sure think we can beat this. I might need to add a little more traction control. I mean, I know somebody's gonna be like, well, I just do it without traction control, Komodo. <laughs> well, Komodo's not that good of a driver. Okay, here we go. We are lined up. All right, let's get ready. And go. All right. Oh my goodness. Uh, traction control is fully kicked in right now. Trying to keep this. Oh yes, <laughs> it is spun out. <laughs> Okay, traction control it is. All right, let's see our time here. Oh, it's fine, it's cool, 18 seconds. All right, let's uh, adjust that traction control real quick. Hey, okay, that's set up. How much do I have left on this bottle? I've been spraying it quite a bit. Oh, yeah, okay, it's about 70%, so uh, I got plenty more passes to go here. Okay, next adjustment I can make. Uh, I'm gonna see kind of where the car tries to come around here. Uh, I'm assuming it was right around uh, third gear. All right, waiting for it, and go. All right, uh, we are spraying it. Let it go. Okay, traction control is definitely helping now. Uh, I just feel like maybe it's it's choking it too much now. <laughs> also, I'm still I'm losing it. Okay, so another ECU adjustment is needed here, definitely. Uh, right around that third gear, it just I think it is too aggressive at the moment. Okay, we just got to be easier in the third gear here. I think we got this. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, get a little bit closer. All right. And we'll spin city. Here we go. All right, let it go. All right, let's go and spray it now. Okay, third gear. Got to be careful with... Oh, my goodness. It's still... It's so aggressive. Come on. <laughs> Oh, wow. I can't get through their gear. Their gear, it just it's where it just jumps sideways. It's like it hits the power and just it goes. Okay, we're going to go with less is more here. I actually turned the power on the nitrous down to one uh, to see if I can get this thing to hook up. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's see if we got some speed here. Okay, wait for it. All right, and go. All right. Uh, oh, got through first gear like way too fast there. Okay, there's the third gear. This is where I was spinning out. Okay, that feels a lot more manageable. But yeah, it feels like something's just choked down. I really screwed up first gear there. I'm gonna try that again with the same settings. Okay, so I have a bit of an experiment. So on the power curve, what if we were just to eliminate the back half of it? Because we're really only using three gears right now. So what if we were just to make it like super aggressive for the first uh, couple here? I know I've already been having issues. Uh, in third gear, but it's fine. No, yeah, this looks safe. So like all the power is really in the first four gears. All right, I'm gonna turn the uh, turbo wastegate up just a couple. Oh yeah, we, we're totally gonna die here. Okay, this is really showing how big of a difference weight makes. I think this thing being heavy in stock is really hurting it. So here we go and first gear. All right, hook it up. There we go. Oh, buddy. Okay, it's a little... Oh, it's still just... Man. I think we have an uncontrollable, like, missile here. What if I were to just take this on the highway? No, we gotta beat that time. That, that's gotta be a thing. You know what? More power. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Uh, first gear. Lots of wheel spin. Second gear. A uh, decent bit of wheel spin. Okay, here's third gear. Try to get it to hook. Come on, baby. Just hook. Oh, my goodness. We spun over it backwards. <laughs> Oh, this is painful. Like, I know there's potential here, but I think we're just too heavy at the moment. Okay, I've got one more attempt into me before we go on the highway and just see how fast we can go. Yeah, it's this thing is, it is not getting along with me at all. And go. So yeah, it's gonna need you guys down at home. Uh, like, what would you do to change this? Besides putting on more performance parts, like to make this thing actually get some form of grip? Yeah, even there, it's 11-1. Like, we are, I think, almost two seconds slower. I think those most performance parts made all the difference. All right, you know what? Let's take it out to the highway and just see what kind of speed she's still got in her. Uh, I think definitely, yeah, the uh, it's not going to beat the upgraded one. Uh, there might be some settings you could change, but I still think you're always just going to be slower. I mean, it's still fairly zippy. It's just very uncontrollable. Okay, we're gonna do a, a run through town here. Yeah, while being a sleeper, this thing's also just a dangerous missile. Like, it's just, it's got too much weight to it. Uh, all right, here we go. Just slowly ease in. Also, do keep in mind, I don't have the upgraded shocks in here either. So I think if we had maybe those, it would make the drag racing a little bit more bearable. Oh my goodness, uh, this thing is still fast though. 
Okay. Probably can adjust. Oh, these. Man, I'm getting wheel spin in fifth gear. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what we've done here, folks. Uh, yep, yeah, we're definitely going to need a little bit of assistance, but you know what? Uh, I'm happy to get the performance parts in here. There's just a formula that we're going to need to try to perfect. <laughs> 